assalamu alaikum my dear friends today we were discussing about will and would these two verbs cause a lot of confusion for english learner so in this video i am going to clear up that confusion for you i will teach you the difference between these two modal verbs and i will show you how to use them correctly without making mistakes there are three main difference between will and would let's start with the most basic use of the two verbs we will use to talk we will we use will to talk about future one very common use is to make a prediction or say what we expect to happen in the future take this sentence we will be in hong kong by 8 pm tomorrow so that means we are traveling to hong kong and i expect that if our flight is on time we will be there by 8 o'clock tomorrow night now in the next sentence i am not hungry so i will just have an orange juice so in this sentence also we talk about future but it little different here will is used to express a decision that you have made we also use will to make a promise to someone like i will send you all the details by email promise now would would Uh, now would uh, would is simply the past tense form of will so imagine that uh, we didn't reach hong kong by 8 pm our flight was late we reached there through in the 2 pm in the morning so then we might look back at the past and say we thought we would be in the hong kong by 8 pm but that didn't happen now here is the some sentences that we saw with will but changed to the past tense like she said she would send me all the details by mail now you know the basic use of will and would so let's make the other more challenging use of these two verbs this is the area of most confusion for pupil and it is conditionals that means where you have a condition and a result for example if it rains tomorrow i will bring my umbrella that's pretty easy you see that i am uh, i am talking about something i will do in the future i will bring my umbrella but only on one condition if it rains these types of sentences called first conditional means both are in real situation means both are based on real situation but the sentences we uh, we talk about imaginary or unreal situation for example if i had wings i would fly all over the world so obviously that is not possible i cannot grow wings so so i would call i am doing so i am using my imagination second sentence it's similar to the sentence of with will but using the past tense like if sarosh stop playing pubg her grades would improve so with would just shows that i don't think this is possible remember with will is used with possible with, but would is not possible it's imaginary these type of sentences is called second conditional but there is one more third conditional that is used to talk about past con- past con- conditions like if sarosh had stopped playing pubg her grades would have improved so here we are talking about a conditions in the past notice that we say had stopped this is the past perfect tense in the condition and we use could have would have in the result we only use will when we talk about real possible situations for imaginary condition we always use would okay let's now turn to the final difference between will and would and that is using polite expression and uh, for the purpose of politeness we use would not will so there are some example with would like would you mind lending me some money yeah would you mind if i live a little early tomorrow uh, would it be okay if i left a little early tomorrow so in this the first sentence is request 
and its very polite request notice afterward you mind we have ing form for land like landing this is the correct form when you want to make request with this expression you can also use it to ask for permission like would you mind if i left a little early tomorrow another common phrases is would you like all this is used to make offers would you like some more milk in your coffee or would you like to come along with us or would you like me to give you a ride home all of these are offers and finally to express want to say i want this use the polite expression i would like to another cookies please i would like to buy a birthday present for my friend the the important part that in all of these sentences you cannot use will remember that these are fixed expression you must use would in all of them so it's a good idea to memorize them